emoji head. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tyler. And Hudson. And we're bringing you Pack Wars Tournament number we're nine. Down. Thanks and to everyone for participating in this tournament. And the winner will get a pack. A, a box of black. Yes, this is one of the special premium Pack Wars tournaments where the winner is going to get a, their own personal hobby box of 1617 Upper Deck Black. Dun, dun, dun. I think everyone who's in this tournament knows the rules, but the way that it works is we're going to open up two packs against each other. Um, any Young Guns card will advance the winner to the next round until, or unless I should say, the other guy has an autograph, memorabilia, or numbered card. That beats a regular Young Guns, although a canvas beats any of those, and it goes on from there. Program of Excellence beats a canvas Young Gun, and so on and so forth. If we don't have any of these trump cards in the packs, then um, the lowest numbered base card is going to go on to the next round, okay. so any any insert cards against each other will go to lowest numbered base cards unless we have an all base pack that is an automatic loser right. um, if you fail to advance past the first round you fear... get a satellite spot in a satellite spot into the next tournament that's right thanks Hudson Welcome. all right yes we are uh, two more box two more tournaments away from the tournament of champions yep yeah. The winner of this tournament gets that free box that we mentioned, but they also get a free spot into the Tournament of Champions, which will be a single box of Series 1 or Series 2, yep. and black for the winner. We already have we already have eight winners. So without further ado, the, what we have to do first is randomize the satellite owners for this week. And um, for Jensen was last... Um, Times winner. Yep, so uh, we're going to randomize this list three I'm times. Say it. The top th the top four so. are going to earn their way into this break. So random number one. Which Hudson is. will tell us who's on top and who's on the bottom. So, Net Rider on top, all four kinds on the bottom. All four kinds on top, 1980. Um, Sean, 1989 on the bottom. Alright, so this is the official list now, the top dun, four. Dun, dun. Hudson are gonna Hudson's gonna read out to me the top four. Which is Netrider, one, Golf Nut, Butterboy, and Justin. Alright, so congratulations you guys. You got free spots into this wild. tournament. So Hudson, read them the for wild me. The wild cards. Read them for me again. Netrider, Golf Nut. Bummer Boy and Justin. Golf Nut. Bummer Boy. And Justin. Alright, congratulations you guys. Hey. Alright, we're going to open up these boxes for you guys. Then we've, go. we've got all the uh, team owners right here. So we're going to first. Dad's going to give me half. First, open up the boxes. Hudson's going to put Series 2 on the east side. Dad is going to put Series 1 on the west side. And let's do um, um Series 2 for the last round. Alright. Hudson's called. Series 2 is going to be the decider. I always like Garbage. Series 2 because it has better um, better chances of getting getting gooder things. Okay. I'd say. All in right. my opinion. There's your packs. Garbage. Garbage. There's my packs. Hudson says that series two is going to go in the final, so that means we have series one, two different um, battles in the wild card spots. I'll take two of your packs for wild card. Battle number two. And we'll start spreading these guys out. Okay. There. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Dun, there dun, it is, dun, everyone. Dun. So. We're going to shuffle these names around a little bit, and then I'm going to hand them to Hudson to... Half of them. ...to place. So in spot number one on the east, we've got four Jensen. Four? 
He is the returning champion defending the title against Bummer Boy. Then we have Golf Nut. Golf Nut. Against Net Rider. Net Rider. Leafs for Life. Leafy. Former champion against Harv G. Ooh, welcome Harv G. Then Lennox Matt. Lennox. Against Bummer Boy, two time champion. Johnny Canuck, Brian. Hey, Brian. Oh, you missed one. Bummer Boy goes up, and then Johnny oh. Canuck goes up. Johnny Canuck is against Lunchy. Lunchy. Welcome here, Lunchy. Sean, 1989. Sean, hey. Is against all four kinds. Oh, well, hey, all. All right, then over to the west. Let's We've go. got Bummer Boy on the top against I'm all four to kinds. Check out. Ed Vet, 69, against Bummer Boy. NJ Devil's Man against Justin A. DJ Bass Daniel from all the way in Sweden against Bummer Boy. All four kinds against Four Jensen. And then Bummer Boy is going to take on the winner of the wild card. All right, let's go ahead and start. Starting with Net Rider against Golf Nut for wild card. Let's go. Net Rider is first. Thing. Hudson, what are the bounty prizes? Um, uh, a signature would be a, a thing into the next into the next tournament. So the jersey bounty, if you get a jersey card, you get a uh, wild card or sorry, a satellite into this break and the uh, tournament of champions. Yep. And the first Winnipeg Jets hit qualifies the owner for a free spot in a box of um, black. Yep. Actually, I think we had that mixed up. You know, the Jets is black. Okay, so this is Netrider. Netrider starting off with the Young Guns of Kelly Ooh. Rosen. That's, I think that's a little bit rare for the first pack. So Golf Nut Wild Card going against Netrider. We have the Sunday afternoon sun streaming in here. It's like an afternoon ball game. Golf Nut fires back with the Shining Stars of Pekka Rennie. Ooh, so, Shining Stars, mate. My friend Zach would love that. Congratulations to Netrider. Moves on in the wild card round. Then we have Bummer Boy against Justin. Okay, Justin. Bummer Boy first. Pack of Series 2. Bummer Boy has a marquee rookie of Andrei Mironov. So he's looking for a base card. Justin A. Looking for young guns to advance. Mm -hmm. Justin A. has a young guns. It's Alex Nedelkovich. And so that means Justin is moving to the next round to face Netrider in the wild card spots. Also, I should mention, as soon as you win one of the rounds, you lock in those hits. So Netrider and Justin are for so sure... you can keep those hits. Yeah. Netrider, looking to punch his way into spot number 23 here in the tournament. Netrider's got an Upper Deck Young Guns Canvas Checklist. So that one's going to be tough to beat. That means that Justin is going to need something better than a canvas Young Guns card, so that's going to be very difficult. But let's see what he can do. What does he get? Not even an autograph or memorabilia card will do it. He He's got a Young Guns, and it's a good one, Pierre-Luc Dubois. But the canvas checklist beats the Young Guns according to the hierarchy of hits. Wait, is a checklist? It is a Young Guns canvas. Whoa. Yep. So congratulations to Netrider. You get both of those cards, the Dubois and the canvas checklist. And you're on to the next round to face Bummer Boy. We're going to start on the east today. So we're going all the way over to this side. Here are your participants in the east. Let's start with Four Jensen. Four Jensen against Bummer Boy is first. But our best guy who got it is the guy who, um, who, um, um, the guy who, um, Four Jensen had three. Has an Andrew Mangia Payne, Young Guns. Nice There's start nice start there for the defending champion. There is a bunch of Young Guns in this pack. In this tournament. Bummer Boy has a Young Guns as well of the Winnipeg Jets. Okay, Eric he gets the bounty. So Jets before, bounty. Before we move on, Bummer Boy 
you get a spot in an upper deck black. Congratulations, Jack. You've got a free spot in a box of 1617 Upper Deck Black. And Air Comrie Young Guns. Amazing. For the Winnipeg Jets bounty. Now we're going to have to see which Young Guns is lower to see who moves on to the next round. So four Jensen has 497. Eric Comrie is 476. So congratulations, Jack wins the battle of the young guns. With a jet hit. Next up, we have Golf Nut against Netrider. Oh, yeah. Golf Nut's first card Good is job, a Jack. Jakob Forsbacka Carlson portrait. Pretty easy to be, I'd say. Netrider. You're hoping for a young guns. Netrider has a Dylan Ferguson marquee rookie for the Golden Knights. Ooh, I want that. That means we're going to have to go to base cards. So Netrider has a 254. That's about as low as it gets for Series 2. 257 as well. So 254 for Netrider. Golf Nut has a 270. And that's it for Golf Nut. So Netrider moves on to the next round with those two hits. Four Jensen and Golfnut are both going to get a satellite chance into the next tournament. Next up we have Leafs for Life against Harv G. Do you want to go check the chat, Hudson? Yeah. Leafs for Life is first. Leafs for Life has enough of a canvas of Johnny Oduya. Harvig, Harv G. Harv G has a Young Guns of Peter Karolik, as well as a Rookie Materials of Josh Hosang. So what a pack that's there. The jersey Harv, congratulations. You get the canvas, you get the Young Guns, you get the jersey, and you also get the jersey bounty. But more importantly, you're on to the next round. So Harv Egg, that means that you get a free spot in the next satellite tournament, as well as a tournament in the or a satellite into the tournament of champions so two yeah. two satellites for harv congratulations i'm just taking note of that before we continue like best hit ever all right best. Really, really nice nice pack there for harv next up we have the inaugural champion job, harv. of pack wars lennox matt against the two-time champion bummer boy it is the clash of the titans Lennox Matt is first. Why do you say that? That's a quote from uh, The Office. <laughs> Matt has a Montreal Canadiens Victor Mete rookie card portrait. Victor Mete? Bummer Boy. Hey, Victor, my friend. Bummer Boy has a Chris Kunitz OPG. So, lowest update. number base card. So, Bummer Boy has a 258. That's a good start. Ooh. 272. 258 is as low as it goes. Matt is going to have to beat a 258. He's got a 360, a 265, but that's as low as it gets for Lennox. Matt. So Bummer Boy is on to the next round. Lennox Matt will get a satellite chance. Next up we have Johnny Canuck against Lunchy. Two men both hoping to earn their first title in Pack Wars. First up we have Johnny Canuck. Johnny Canuck has a Young Guns exclusives Ooh. numbered out of 100 of Christian Jaros. That's an automatic win. That's going to be very tough to beat. Nice hit there for Brian. Ooh, I really want that card. Looks so good. Next up, we have Lunchy. Just wait for those. I mean, it's I, there's no chance of getting another Young Guns exclusives. Lunchy has a Curtis McDermott Marquee Rookie. rookie. So Lunchy gets a satellite chance in the next tournament. Johnny Canuck gets that uh, gold numbered out of 100, and he's on to the next round. Dad, yep. can I go check out the chat? Next up, we have Sean 1989 and all four Sean? kinds. Ah, uh, that's okay. okay. Sean has himself a Young Guns of Robbie Russo. Ooh. No, but if it was the um, uh, UD gloss, we had one once. Yep. He... He's All Four Kinds is next. 
What if he gets the best? Like All four times as a marquee rookie of Logan Brown. So that won't do it. So Sean, congrats. You're on to the next round. And we're over to the west side. I'd say this tournament is the best. We already got a Jets hit, and now we got a Jersey hit. Yep. Weird. All right, next, in the first round, we have Bummer Boy against all four kinds. Boom. Bummer Boy is first, because he, he didn't beat Jack. Oh. All right, Bummer Boy has a Josh Hosang Upper Deck Portraits. Hosang is all over this tournament, a couple of his cards so far. And for all four kinds... We've got a Patrick Kane Centennial Standouts. So we're going to have to go to base cards. All Four Kinds has a 110 and a 63 for All Four Kinds. Bummer Boy has that 120 and an 8. So Jack, on to the next round. Congratulations. Dad, remember when someone had two and there was a minor miracle? Someone got a 1. Yes, I remember that. That is was like the weirdest. Next up we have Ed Vett against Bummer Boy. Chuck is going to get a satellite chance into the next tournament for not advancing. Ed Vett, good luck. Ed Vett has a canvas of John Tavares. Beauty. Bummer Boy has a Young Guns of Jake Dochin. So congratulations Jack. I thought it was Jake Dubrow. No, you're thinking of someone else. Bummer Boy moves on to the next round, and now we've got NJ Devil's Man against Justin A. And Jack has two out of three spots in this next triple threat, so he's got a good chance of moving on to the semifinal. NJ Devil's Man has himself a Steven Stamkos Centennial Standouts. Steven Stamkos? Justin A is going to try and steal that card with the Young Guns. Ooh, I love that Steven. Justin A. has a Young Guns. Oh boy. How about a Nico Heischer for Justin A. Congratulations. Ooh. This is Pack Wars Tournament number 9, and this is the third Nico Heischer that we have pulled. And I'm going to delicately put that one off to the side. Hudson, do you want to get me a sleeve? And we'll put that one in there right away. Where Congratulations, Justin. Where's the sleeve? Actually, here. We'll put it right here for now. Okay. Well, let's get a sleeve. Here, bud. Whoa. Congratulations, Justin! Nico Hersher! Next up, we have a DJ Base. Yeah, sorry about that, Matt. We, I guess we pulled the wrong Series 1 box for you for the 10 box break. Whoa. DJ Base against Bummer Boy. DJ Base has a Ryan Getzlaff Upper Deck Portraits. Okay, DJ. Bummer Boy. Bummer Boy has a superstar, Shining Stars of Max Pacioretty. Lowest numbered base. Here's for Bummer Boy first. It's got a 94, a 54, a 32. 32 is as low as it gets for Jack. DJ Base looking to beat a 32. What if he gets a 1? He's got a 200. He's got a 14 and a 9. So DJ Base on to the next round. Next up, we've got all four kinds against four Jensen. These are two guys who already failed to move on to the next round, so one of them is going to be happy. Oh. First of all, we've got all four kinds. Chuck, you've got a canvas of Jason Demers. And four Jensen. Four Jensen has a Young Guns. Oh, my goodness. How about a Charlie McAvoy and a Nico Herscher in the same box? Unbelievable. And B. Congratulations to Four Jensen. You get the two cards, you get the McAvoy, and you're on to the next round. Wow. All right, now we've got the wild card battle here. Bummer Boy against Netrider. We're going to go to Jack first. Boy, 
Jack has himself a Paul Coffey Centennial Standouts. Netrider, the wild card winner. Looking for some wild card magic. He's got a Young Guns, and it is Andres Borgman for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So Netrider, the wild card winner, is accumulating a nice stack of hits. And he's on to the Triple Threat match. We're going to stay on the west side here as we do the Triple Threat. So just as a reminder, um, when we get to this round, it is three owners against each other. Ooh, the there's two Bummer on. Boys. So Bummer Boy has a good chance of winning. All right, so we've got Jack against Jack against Justin here, first of all. So first of all, Jack number one. <laughs> what if there was two Bummer Boys? <laughs> There is two Jacks. Oh, look at that. Jack has a jersey card Ooh. of Victor Rask. Okay, he's just going to win. It's going to be tough to beat. Nah, Jack number two. Hey, what, if he, oh, what if he gets a um, jersey again? That'd be weird. Jack. Jack number two has a Centennial Standouts. Ooh, I like this one. Timu Salani, the Finnish Flash. And I remember watching Solani in his rookie year. 76 goals. Nice card there. And for Jensen, or sorry, Justin A. He's, a, he's already got the Nico Hersher. So he's already won. But he's going to have to get a Upper Deck Canvas Young Guns or better. And he's got... Oh my goodness. He's got... Oh, so close! He does have an exclusives, but it's not a canvas, so that means it's a numbered card that does not... Oh, actually! Okay, here's this first time we've run into this rule. So first of all, let's get this portraits out of the way. So in the case of a, um, a numbered card against a jersey card, we are going to have to go to the lowest numbered base card, and that is in the rules. But I thought, I thought, but what if Bummer Boy and Bummer Boy together no but bummer boy against justin a so just so you guys are aware i'm just going to go to the rules here so that we can because this has never happened before and really i never thought it would um i'm going to go to the second set of rules here so once we go down here shh, let's, let me get this out for you guys so if you look at the rule right here um in the rare event that a memorabilia auto or numbered card is pulled in the same round as each other, the tiebreaker will be the lowest numbered base card, no exceptions. The reason for that rule is because I don't want to have to judge what's better, an exclusives or a jersey card. And so we're going lowest numbered base card to go to the next round. Alright, so Jack's base card first so those cards are both moving to the next round so the high stakes for the winner of this one jack has a 160 and a 95 and a 73 Ooh. so 73 is lowest for jack justin has an 82 and a 39 so justin gets those cards and on to the next round i never thought i'd see the day where we would have memorabilia up against a numbered card but we've done it. Justin has done the impossible and beaten the jersey card. Next up, we've got DJ Bass against Four Jensen against Netrider. Starting with DJ Bass from Sweden. He's from Sweden? He is from Sweden. But, but Dad, like, do they do Sweden people talk in English? Uh, you'll have to ask Daniel about that. I think he, he speaks Scandinavian. Swedish? I don't know. <laughs> it's embarrassing, I guess. All right, DJ Bass. He's got a Claude Giroux uh, Centennial Standouts. Four Jensen is next. Four Jensen has a Shining Stars Ruby of Brayden Holtby. Would that win a... So Netrider can get a Young Guns to move from the wild card spot to the semi-finals. Or it's the lowest number base card. Netrider has a canvas of Oliver Ekman Larson. So we're going to lowest numbered base card. So Netrider, first of all. Just one second here. I gotta catch up with Jack in the chat. Me too. 
just eight subrandos listening. Audio and video keeps playing out. I'm all right, next up, we got to go for the base cards. So, first of all, we have the wild card of Netrider. Netrider's pack has a line A, 198. Oh, he's got a 2! Once before, we've had a 2 beaten by a 1, but right now, Netrider's looking really good. 4 Jensen has an 18 and an 11. Not good enough. So an 11 for 4 Jensen. And now DJ for DJ Bass. Has a tw oh, he has a 4. And a 3. And that's as low as it gets. So for wild card, I think for this is the second time in history that a wild card has moved on to the semifinals. We have Justin A. against Netrider. Let's go over to the East. That was like amazing. Over on the east. Of a Corey Perry. We've got two more chances for Bummer Boy to get his third title. First of all, we've got Bummer Boy against Netrider against Harv G. Bummer Boy is first. Bummer Boy has a canvas of Oscar Clefbaum for the Oilers. All, all Harv G needs is a or some a bit or better. Netrider has an upper deck portrait of Alex Formenton. So Harv G looking to punch his way into the semifinals with a Young Guns card. Harv G has uh, an all base pack. Sorry about that, Harv. I'm just going to double check here, and that is all base. So it's going to be a base battle between those two who had hits. And that is Netrider and Jack. Sorry, Harv. So Netrider, first of all, you've got 316, 294, 275. 275 for Netrider. And for Bummer Boy, he's got a 326, a 327, a 405, a 413, and a 333. So Netrider moves Eight. his way into the semifinal, for, and that's two semifinal spots for Netrider. Where's and, that um, Golden Knights one? Next up, we've got Bummer Boy against Johnny Canuck against Sean 1989. Sean? First of all, Jack. I'm kind of sorry for hard things. Yeah, all base pack. Jack has himself a Young Guns of Anton Lindholm. Good chance for Jack to move on to the next round. Next up, we have Johnny Canuck looking to match. He already has a Young Guns exclusives in his pocket. Yep. Johnny Canuck has a marquee rookie of Alex Formentin, so that's not going to do it. Not lucky enough this time. Sean, 1989, looking to match the Young Guns. Well, that one won't be a factor. Sean has a Christian Dujos marquee rookie, so that means that Jack does get a spot in the semifinals. Compliments of the M Anton Lindholm. Congratulations, Jack. Moving what, on. What if it was um, Bummer Boy against Bummer Boy? Okay, we're on this side already, so we're going to do Netrider against Bummer Boy in the semifinal. Dad? Yep. Remember when it was Bummer Boy, Bummer Boy, Bummer Boy against yep. himself a lot? Netrider is first. Mm -hmm. Netrider has two chances to get into the final here. Netrider, wow, he's got a rookie breakouts of Hayden Fleury. Number Hayden? number 64 out of 100. Ooh, and that's going to be tough. Oh, that's going to be tough to beat. Bummer Boy is going to need a numbered card or an upper deck canvas jersey, uh, Young yeah. Guns. There was a another card numbered 64 out of 100. Cra like in this break? Yes. Crazy. Jack has a Hayden Flurry. It is an upper deck portrait. Unfortunately, it is not numbered and it is not a canvas. So that means that Netrider is moving on to the next round with the two Flurry cards. Congratulations, Netrider. You are in the finals. I am going to check out the chat. Next up, we have Netrider's wild card spot against Justin A. We're going to start with Justin. 
pack of series one. Here. Justin has a upper deck portrait of Vincent Trocek. And Netrider looking to, if Netrider wins this round, he's automatically the champion because he's already got a spot in the final. On the east side, Netrider has a Shining Stars of Sidney Crosby. Sidney! So it's not over yet. Mason. We're going to have to do base cards. Netrider has 188, 132, 118, 145, 113, and 20. a 21. So Justin A needs to beat a 21 to make it interesting in the final. Interesting. He's got a 44, a 24, a 111, a 29, a 57, and a 105. That means that Netrider with his 21 moves to the final. And let's gonna let's see. What he gets. Congratulations, Renault. You've got the free box of black. But before we open that, I want to see for history's sake if this wild card can win the tournament. You didn't do it. Stop. I know, because we don't do that if it's the same guy against each other. Oh. So I'm hoping that the wild card spot wins the tournament for the first time in history. He's got a Young Guns of Colin White. So I'm thinking we've got a pretty good chance here. Net Rider with a really nice stack of hits. This is the non wild card spot. And he's got a canvas of Tyler Myers. Ooh, that Tyler. means that means Tyler. that means that Net Rider's wild card spot wins the tournament. Congratulations to Net Rider. You are the newest champion. And we're gonna open up a free box Lots of, of Upper Deck Black. Black for you. Let's see what you got. It's always a good day when you get to open up a free box of black. Pack Horse Champion number nine. You also get a free spot into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. Let's see what you got. And technically you lost the championship round as well, so you also get a free spot into the satellite for the Tournament of Champions. Weird. Good luck, Renault. Let's see what we've got. Yesterday in black, we pulled a Connor McDavid rookie autograph. I don't even think I showed Hudson that card yet. Hudson, look what we got yesterday. First of all, we had this really nice Mario Lemieux patch card. And then a Connor McDavid rookie autograph. Whoa. So that was yesterday. Let's see if we can get something in 1617 as well. This time for Netrider. The garbage can go in here. So we know your first hit is Patrice Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Ooh, pretty good hit. Next up, we've got a Oilers lustrous rookie, but it is Yessi Pugliarvi. Numbered out of 299. Rookie update. Good one. Nice hit there. It looks like the card has a little bit of scratching actually right under the autograph. Not sure what that's all about. But that came out of the pack. Next up we've got a jersey? gold autograph jersey rookie trademarks of Thomas Chabot for the Ottawa Senators. Nice hit there. Dad, what if someone wins that premier box? There's a nice rookie. It's a William Nylander rookie trademark relics. Second jersey. And the last card standing is Ryan O'Reilly, Black Hole for the Buffalo Sabres. Bye, guys. So congratulations to Netrider for that win. Congratulations. Got a nice box of black. Thanks for participating in the tournament pack wars, you guys. Have yourselves a great rest of your Sunday. Make sure to check out the auctions tonight. The hockey pool bonus is starting. All of these cards around the outside are bonus cards to be won in the hockey pool for this year. And there's my favorite right there, the Patrick Waugh OPG rookie card, graded eight. Nice Martin Brodeur and a Matthews rookie. And two tickets autographed by Ray Bork and Johnny Busick from the day that Bork passed him in the all-time scoring for the Boston Bruins. 
thanks for participating. You guys have yourselves a great rest of the Sunday.